Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. If you've watched my unboxing, you'll know that I wasn't going to do a shaving video until tomorrow pretty much, but I picked up a new razor, or one was delivered should I say, and it came all the way from Canada, and that is the Carve. All brass. All made in Canada. Beautiful razor, the Christopher Bradley razor, made by Carve. Now this has got the three and a half inch handle I think, I can't bloody remember, but it's the shortest handle that they do. It is quite short but it's perfect for me, I love short handles. There's a lot of weight in this, it is solid brass. It's, a, it's just a beautiful razor. Now the blade goes in super snug, there is absolutely no movement in the blade, so once your blade goes in that top cap and you push it down a little bit, that's it, it ain't moving, and it'll go on perfect every single time. And as you can see from the actual gap, the blade itself, the exposure on both sides, is spot on, it really is absolutely spot on. So, that being said, it's pretty hot today, I have been out, I've been sorting all my daughters, it's her 13th birthday today, so she's at school, the wife's at work and the boys are at school, so I'm in the house of my own, so I've set, baked all the cakes, made all the food, set all the house up and everything, so I'm exhausted, and I finished at 2 o'clock this morning as well, so. Sterling Black Ice, now there won't be a photograph of what I'm using, so this is the first time you'll see what I'm using, so it's Sterling Black Ice, as this is a review of the razor essentially. The scent on this is absolutely phenomenal. Now black ice is a licorice, licorice, however you want to say it, scent. It smells exactly to me, if you have licorice all sorts and you get the little tiny round ones with the little noble balls on it, the sort of little crunchy balls on it, the licorice inside that smells and well, if that tasted the same, would taste the same as that. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Just to give you a comparison of scent. Scent strengths easily six out of the tub and when you lather it up it sits around about a seven from memory it's been a long while since i've used this one i'm also going with the leo frio celtic got a little bit of crap stuck in the bottom now this has got a 24 mil tuxedo not original tuxedo from ap shave co so straight into the soap I haven't used this soap in ages, I love this soap. I've given a few samples of this one out because people have been quite interested about how it actually smells and how how the mentholated sterling soaps work and how good they are. And in my opinion, in terms of mentholated soaps, I've got to say that Cooler Bar from APR is excellent. It's an outstanding soap, but in terms of being able to pack a lot of menthol in a soap without affecting the scent too much, but also giving you an amazing shave, sterling do it better than anyone in my opinion. So all I'm doing here is just getting a really good load into the brush, probably way more than I need. And I'm going to wipe my face. Now this is a cold water shave with absolutely no prep. That's the first time water's hit my face, so there's no hot towels, nothing like that. And I'm still keeping this goatee until the cold sores go away, which will be for a, no, probably be a while before they go. I've got three of the bloody things now. Oh, the scent on this is phenomenal. Now this isn't glacial, this is just mentholated, so as you can see just there, it says menthol. So the glacial version of this is actually called obsidian. It smells the exact same. It's just got a much bigger kick of menthol and it is a hell of a kick of menthol you get from it, I can assure you, from the obsidian one. Right, I'm just going to dip my tips now. I'll start painting some water into this. I haven't used this brush for a little either. I actually noticed that someone else is Opted for the, pretty much the exact same brush from Leo Frio, same style, same colours, same team. I've actually got my Celtic shirt on today. They've just been crowned the champions of Scotland a couple of weeks ago, again for the seventh year in a row. So hopefully we can get ten in a row, and then we can hear all the range of supporters whinging about 
the fact that Rangers got demoted and well they're not really Rangers anymore are they? They're a new company now, they're a new club. I don't care what they tell me. Right, here we go. Got great back on this tuxedo knot. It's a good size, but strangely enough, that 33 mil monster that I got the razor rock that that was very kindly sent over to me. It's one of my favourite knots to use now. It's it's massive. But it's really good. The other thing I like about it is you use a lot of soap. And I want to try and get through as much of my soap as I can so I can replenish it. Menthol's really kicking in now. Down here. It looks like I've actually got enough now already. And this is lovely thick lather. This is ice cold, it really is freezing cold on my skin right already. And I haven't even got through my first pass yet with a razor. It never makes a voluminous lather like I can get with most soaps now, but it makes a really thick, creamy lather with a beautiful gloss on it. I'm actually quite excited about this shave. I've not had a new razor come through the den for a while. The last one would have been probably above the tie Calypso, which is actually on loan at the moment. One of my mates over here, so. Here we go, the carb razor. All brass, brand new Gillette Nasset blade. I thought I'd go with my favorite blade for the first shave. Let's see how it feels. Now I've got the point seven four blade gap, I think it is, the C plate. That's really smooth. Like super smooth. It's mild, but it's efficient. I'm just going to fix my bit of this, one, bit of this lather down here, just so I can see the goatee. And don't worry, I won't have this for much longer. As soon as this, my lips clear up again coming off because it's driving me nuts already. Right, let's see how we go. Wow. Don't need to put any real pressure with this razor because it's really heavy so the weight of the razor sits on your skin quite quite firmly. I'm glad I got the shorter handle because I think the longer handles would probably make it too heavy for me. Wow, I'm really enjoying this. This is super smooth. Yeah, really, really smooth, but efficient at the same time, which I absolutely love. I was a bit worried that the 0.74 blade gap might be just a bit much for everyday shaving, but I can tell you right now, for me personally, that is absolutely spot on for everyday shaving. I don't know how good it will go with heavier growth, 
But what I'm going to do is I've got a few, probably four days growth on my head now, so I'm going to tack on my head after this shave as well, just to have an idea what it's like in a head shave as well, so you guys can see if you're interested. How good is this soap? Look at it go. It's so cold. I absolutely love mentholated soaps. And this stuff's just phenomenal. I mean, look how thick and creamy that is. It's like bloody Greek yogurt. It's super mentholated. It smells incredible. It's slick. It, um, it's. It's really up there with the best, and sometimes I forget about it because I don't use it that often. Sterling, even though I've got quite a few of the soaps, because the weather hasn't been really as hot as it normally is. And as much as I love mentholated soaps, when it's cold, I don't feel like using them quite as much as you could imagine. Right, the car razor across the green. Holy shit, it's so good, it's like, I'm BBS in there, I'm not normally BBS after one, but I didn't even feel it cut the hair. Can I feel the blade? Not really, just ever so slightly I can feel the blade, but not much. Now, against the green under here, it was just a little bit, I could feel it ever so slightly, but not enough that it was, it doesn't feel it as rough as other razors under there. I mean, I've got a couple of little weepers there now because I've, I don't normally go against the green because I've got this bloody goatee, I've got to take it in a little bit and coming across the green is quite difficult from that angle, so. Very, very comfortable razor. Now, I've read reviews, in fact, I would say 99% of the viewers love this razor. The odd one doesn't, but I can tell you right now from this one shave, it's a keeper, I'll never leave my den. The only way this one will leave my den is if he brings out a stainless steel or a titanium version. Because I'm not a massive fan of brass. But we'll see how this one patinas and how it sort of looks with a little bit of ageing on it. Now it's not the best soap really, now that I think on it, to use when you're testing a razor for the first time. Because the menthol numbs your skin. So, and sometimes you just, you really don't know how good your shave is until a couple of hours later. 
when your skin's actually cooled out, or warmed up, should I say, not cooled out. Right, across the green, other direction. It's one of the closest shaves I've had. I wish I could do my lips as well, I really do. But at the moment, I can't. Let's make this water because it's filthy. to go down as one of the nicest shaves I've had in a long time and I've used some beautiful razors lately the MG90 from Razor Rock being one of them look I've got a couple of little weepers there it's a little bit irritated there because I've went against the grain which like I've said before I don't normally do that but other than that it looks pretty good in the mirror for me I don't know what it looks like on camera how red that looks but in the mirror it doesn't look like much is going on with irritation wise so I'm pretty happy with that for a first shave Super smooth, very efficient, very comfortable, good weight. It's not slippy in the slightest in your hands, even though that's a short handle. The, the I think they call it beading, blasting or something, bead blasting, the, the effect on that razor, the finish on it, sort of like a satin gold, is gives it a little bit of grip as well, which is nice. So all I'm gonna do now, a little bit of Anherb after shave conditioner. Hi mate! In my opinion, one of the best aftershave balms out there. It's absolutely brilliant. It absorbs so quickly. Beautiful menthol sort of feel to it afterwards from the cam four. It's just exceptional. So I've got a couple of little weepers there, but I'll sort them out later. I'm going to go and sort some more stuff out with the kids, and then I'll most likely do my head shave. Maybe tonight. We'll see how it go. I might leave it till tomorrow, but I'll definitely be doing a head shave either today or tomorrow with it. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. The razor today was the carved razor. Solid brass. Absolutely stunning. You can really... I have to say the, the machining on this is spot on. There's nothing on this that I can really pick. In fact, I can't, I can't find an error with it. I can't see a scratch on it. I can't see a mark. The only marks I've got is on the top cap. There's a little bit of staining on the top cap. It looks like a fingerprint was on it and the oils have just patinaed it a little bit. So I was slightly annoyed with that. But other than that, really, really chuffed with it. So 
hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be using this razor for a little bit and just giving it a bit of a try out and see how I go. I can't. I might even try and take this off with it, even though it's only the C plate and it's very mild. Just see how it goes. You guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.